what are the risks of food delivery, and what's being done about it. And there's a new rideshare movie coming out. Let's talk about it. Welcome everyone, I'm Mark, this is Travel Time. If you are new to the channel, please click my face in the corner to subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell icon so you know when I post new videos. I received an email this morning I wanted to share with you because it addresses something that I think is more prevalent right now with what's going on in the world. And by the way, if I hear one more newscaster say, during these troubled times, I think I'm going to scream. I'm going to scream anyway. It, it's kind of funny because it reminds me of that, uh, that movie way back from the 1980s with Michael Keaton, Mr. Mom, and they were selling tuna. All of us here at Schooner Tuna sympathize with those of you hit so hard by these trying times. Come on, can't you think of something more original? Anyway... I continue to watch your YouTube channel and can't say enough about how one, uh, the wonderful service you provide to the community. All right, I know I could have cut that part out, but I don't often get accolades, so I just wanted to leave it in. Something I've noticed recently with fast food restaurants featuring drive throughs is more and more requests for drivers entering the dining rooms. More specifically, when requesting a ride through pickup at Burger King over the weekend, I was snapped at by the operator to pick up the food in the dining room, which, as you can guess, was full of people at the time. At a local Mc I'm skipping through some of this. At a local McDonald's where I encountered the same issue, I suggested an employee bring the food out to my vehicle curbside in the parking lot as an alternative. Both requests were denied. For those of you who have watched this channel for a long time, about a year, year and a half ago, I did a video on this same topic. And as a matter of fact, I was recording the video as I was doing my deliveries. And I got to the McDonald's. I'll link it up here. Uh, well, I guess I'll link it up here. I've been making that mistake lately, haven't I? And I got there and I went through the drive through I got to the window and they said, you have to come inside. I'm thinking, wait a minute. I'm here right now. Give me the food. But that's another story. So I left. I said, no, I'm, I'm not going to do that because you know what they want you to do. And this is an answer to this person's question. They want you to come in and order the food. Your request that you get is simply a request for you to show up. The food's not ready, by, at a McDonald's anyway, until you place the order, then they prepare it. So unlike most restaurants where they put in the food order, then they put in the request, and when you get there, the food order is waiting. At McDonald's, it's not the way it goes. You arrive, you say, I'm here for Uber Eats, then they fill the order as if you just ordered it. That's why they don't want you to come through the drive through However, I don't know how it's any more difficult to come up to the speaker at the drive through and say, I'm here for Uber Eats order so-and-so. What difference at this point does it make? I don't know. That's the way they do it. In my, my case, I left. I wasn't going to play their silly games, and I simply, in most cases, don't accept McDonald's orders anymore. Now, during these troubled times, uh, in Wisconsin, I know they have shut down restaurants. Restaurants cannot even be open to go inside and pick up the order. So in that regard, I think it might be a moot point, but I know every state has not closed down that tightly yet. Now, there's also a restaurant in Wisconsin. I've never seen them on Uber Eats, but I'm just using this as an example. And Whataburger does this as well and they're in the uh, western part of the United States. But Culver's always has people running out the food because Culver's does not have, you know, a whole bin of cheeseburgers waiting. When you order, they start making the food, so you pull up and you wait a minute or two, then they'll run out and bring your food to you. However, that's not to say that if they were on Uber Eats, they wouldn't still make you come in. So I have to agree with this person. I think it's crazy. However, I'm not sure this next paragraph concerns me a little bit. Then I contacted the Boston police where the restaurant's located in an attempt to clarify my rights as a delivery worker and was told that the restaurant is private property. They have the authority to set the rules. Yeah, please don't get law enforcement involved in this. You're picking up food for delivery. And, um, you know, the police are not going to do anything. If you want to take legal action and take in the court, have at it. But, you know, especially these days, the, during these troubled times, the police are really busy 
and let's not bother law enforcement with these type of activities. The person wrapped up the email to me. My question is, since Uber Eats offers contactless delivery, well, we've already kind of addressed that to customers, shouldn't there be a safe pickup procedure for drivers? Uh, the driver is not as important. I realize in some restaurants, drive through service is unavailable, but shouldn't they be minimizing contact? Could they bring the food outside? Those are some of the questions, which I think I kind of talked to. I don't know if it's about drivers not being as important, but if there is a chain of safety and contactless, uh, what would you call that? A contactless procedure? I don't know. But if, if there is that chain of safety, yeah. Uh, I mean, you can't have, say, it, it's safe because it's contactless on one end, but not on the other, because then that those germs are still being passed along in the packaging, right? So yes, I would say if you're going to be consistent, that consistency should be throughout. So that is my answer, uh, Tyler, to your question. Now, there's another thing I wanted to talk about in this video that I want to hear your thoughts on everybody. There's a new movie call, coming out called The Toll. And here's the upshot. I've not seen it. I've only seen early, uh, not even reviews, but synopsis of the uh, story. And apparently a young lady gets off the airport. She calls a rideshare vehicle. Her driver's kind of strange, kind of quirky. During the drive, he's having some uncomfortable, if not inappropriate, conversations, but they kind of uh, attribute it to just being a socially awkward person, which many drivers are. And he makes a wrong turn. We don't know if it's intentional or an accident. And what happens is they end up being stalked by the toll keeper. And I don't know how it, it's reminding me of just the old fashioned horror movies where someone's stalking them. It might be an interesting movie. Here's my question to you. Do you believe having a scare movie out like this is going to reinforce the concept that Uber drivers are weird, they're strange, they can't be trusted, and it's going to have an adverse effect on Uber Lyft trip? Uh, what are your thoughts on that? I'm really, really curious. I have another question. I think I'm going to save it for a follow-up video. It has to do with driverless cars. Uh, so maybe we'll save that one for tomorrow. But let's hear your thoughts. Number one, do you think that dropping off food and doing food deliveries is safe? Or is that even too risky? Do you think that in your area they have not made adaptations? during these troubled times? Or do you think, no, it's good. I, I like how things are shaping up. And the second question is, do you think a horror movie based on rideshare is going to have any adverse effect, either on how people perceive us or rideshare in general and the business? Personally, I don't think it'll have an effect on business whatsoever. And as far as drivers, I never thought people had a very high opinion of us to start with. Thanks for watching, everybody. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. Leave your comments down below. If you have not already subscribed, click my face in the corner and ring that bell icon up above so you know when I post new videos. Thanks for watching. I'm Mark, and this is Travel Time.